today we're going to perform a demonstration of a total red blood cell count and a total white blood cell count. The equipment needed for these manual blood cell counts include a red blood cell diluting pipette, a white blood cell diluting pipette, red blood cell diluting solution, white blood cell diluting solution, a hemocytometer, a lancet, latex gloves, and a microscope. Note, proper disposal of items contaminated with blood is important for this lab. Be sure to use proper protocol when working with human bodily fluids. An alcohol swab is used to disinfect the fingertip. The lancet initiates bleeding and a small amount of blood is drawn to the first mark on the pipette. Next, the diluting solution is added to the blood sample to the mark beyond the bulb. The pipette is shaken for at least five minutes to ensure the blood sample adequately mixes with the diluting solution. The mixture is dispensed onto a hemocytometer. The hemocytometer contains a grid with a fixed volume etched into its surface. This is a hemocytometer on scanning power showing the grids where both red blood cells and white blood cells are counted. This hemocytometer contains a sample of blood mixed with red blood cell diluting solution. Note the 4x4 four four grid where the cells are counted. This hemocytometer contains a sample of blood that was mixed with white blood cell diluting solution. The 4x4 grid for counting white blood cells is larger than the 4x4 grid for counting red cells, and this shows only one square of the white blood cell 4x4 grid. Note the numerous lysed red blood cells on the slide.